Mr. Philip Carlier. I don't know where to start with this one. I remember when his poster first went up. Mild-mannered, they said. Well, they all are, until they ain't. I might have even looked for him, too, but none of us could find him. It sounds like they spotted him in the swamps. If that's where he's been, on the run all this time, then God help him. Ain't much in the way of company out there, or much that won't try and eat you or put you on a pike. Got to ask what years of that might have done to his mind. You're here. <laughs> you're here. Oh, thank heaven you're here. See, I've been here for, must be years. Trap. See, I, I thought no one would ever come. Philip Carlier, the Castile Cotton Company chief clerk. But, uh, <laughs> so you already know that, given why you're here. Not much. Can't imagine how it must look. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no time for any of that. Now, if you just let me... Oh, I was so hoping for someone to share this with. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
trying to get out. Oh, yes. Yeah, those neighbors, they are quite strong. Yes. Yeah. Yes, quite strong indeed. <laughs> now, you may not believe me, but you made a mistake. <laughs> you got the wrong man, you see. It's Mr. Philip Collier of the Castile Cotton Company. Yeah, he, he gone. He died a long time ago, I'm afraid. I know it's very disappointing for a bounty hunter, but uh, you know, there it is. I promise you, I saw him dead. You know, his body committed to the swamp. I, I saw the skin rotting off his bones and creatures feeding upon his flesh. And the man is as dead as you and me is breathing now. I... I, I he's dead. Y you must believe me. Uh, how do you think anyone could survive out here, huh? For all this time? I mean, really, I possess it if you think of it. Well, for a man as, as polite and unsuited to the environment as, as Paul, Mr. Collier, uh, he perished very quickly. I saw you. You know, one night with the gators and the snakes and the, and the night folk, and that was more than enough. <laughs> it was a mercy. A mercy, I promise, God. <laughs> You must understand, Philip Collier's dead. Why won't you understand that? Toss him in the sternest cell you can find. That's what they were, and not a penny more.